definitely think this year um, is going extremely well considering you know where we were at last year with only having the the one meet the conference championship and so um, I feel the team's really progressed well through the season um, this past meet down at Bradley probably was the best overall meet uh, our cross-country teams have had since I've been here as head coach just overall the team ran extremely well and it's a huge confidence booster heading into the conference championship with this year being a full season we've been able to kind of execute a full season's worth of plan so it's not so much as last year where we were just trying to play catch up and make up um, we were able to start the season off slow kind of build mileage build that volume kind of get race reps in um, and, and less worry about results and more more worry about the technical side of racing which i think is important um, and as we kind of progressed into october the fitness came and then we were able to use the technical application early in the season and then really go after places and times. We've really had a good season. I think we've got a lot of momentum going, especially with the last race at the Bradley Pink Classic. Uh, we had a good top seven. Uh, I think a lot of guys had breakout performances and since the conference is coming up, hopefully we can carry that onto that race. Overall, the season has been going pretty good. I think everyone's getting more in shape each meet. Uh, really practicing our pack running, which is going to be very helpful for us at conference. With cross country, you want your score as low as possible. So it's kind of different than a lot of other sports where you might want a higher score. So if you have a lower spread between you and your teammates, it's um, a better score on paper. Getting the opportunity to get out there and race reps in are, is mentally more relaxing than having a season that is one race you know, either, you know, 20 to 25 minutes long. Um, just the mental stress of the unknown last year played a big role um, in terms of day-to-day -day operations, but also stress on the body. Um, so I think having the ability to know what's ahead of you more than just a month or a couple weeks has really allowed the team to kind of flourish and kind of take advantage and realize how lucky they are to have um, a full season to be able to work through it and everything like that. Well, now we're actually training for cross country, so it's kind of nice. To, uh, but last year was we were doing track training and focused on that, and we did a cross country race, so it was kind of a shock to the system. But now we're prepared and excited and have our goals, so it's a little bit different. When you're training just for like this one big meet, I feel like that can be really just like a lot of pressure. Um, whereas this year, I feel like we've gotten kind of in the groove of things and able to like work up to regionals, conference, so um, just like a lot more time to like have practice, uh, pack running, just running in general, and uh, I don't know, it's really benefited us. You know, the championships obviously are a special time of year and everyone kind of looks forward to it, but it's still just another cross-country race. There's no reason why we take the championships any more or less or serious than any other race. Um, the, the, these two weeks aren't any different than every other week that we do, right? So it's all about consistency. It's all about mental focus. It's all about making sure we're taking care of the small things. So um, I always say that if you're trying to make huge changes the last two weeks, you've already lost the opportunity to make those changes. Just really staying focused with what we've been doing all year, um, eating right, sleeping right, staying on top of school, um, and just kind of not changing anything really from what we've been doing because it's been working so far. A lot of teamwork together, talking about how we want to race and practicing that throughout our workouts, staying together in our groups to really focus on pack running to keep our score as low as possible, and just keeping a positive attitude because I think that's something that we have that we use to our benefit a lot. Really focus on the little things, sleeping, eating, stretching after. Um, even if you need to stretch before bed, just making sure that we're doing everything we can to do our jobs, uh, preparing mentally during workouts, uh, really just sort of stimulating ourselves for when the race comes. Having both genders bring home a trophy, that's going to be key for us to be able to come home with, with uh, you know, uh, hopefully a, fir a couple first place trophies, but at least one first place trophy and a, and a runner up finish. And then, you know, just trying to, to be in a place to finish high at the regional uh, meet, the Great Lakes Regional. Um, and I think, you know, both genders are set up really well to, to do well at that meet and hopefully finish the cross country season ranked in the top, you know, 12 in the region, I think would, would be a good team goal to kind of, kind of cap off this season.
So the goals for the championship at conference is to win. <laughs> um, but uh, I think that's pretty much everyone's got their eye on that. Um, I don't think we've really um, veered away from that goal. Well, obviously our main goal is to win. That's always a fun goal to have. Um, but I think a lot of us just want to go out there and enjoy our last season, because or last Horizon League meet, cross country meet, I should say, because most of us are seniors. And I think we just want to have a good experience together and celebrate, hopefully, another win. Goals, win it. Um, no excuses. Uh, doing what we got to do, doing our jobs, and really letting this young core know that just because they're young doesn't mean they can't handle themselves. Um, improving ourselves to our coaches and showing that this university is not only improving, but we can bring in more prospects to improve the program even further and hopefully get another championship for Jake. Um, outside of that, regionals, making it to nationals. Um, if you're not going to aim high, then what's the point of aiming anywhere?